Hello, this is a quick video about how to set up Java and Eclipse on your machine. Uh, we're going to get the Java SE development kit and download it, and then we'll download Eclipse, and then we'll do a quick Hello World in Eclipse. Um, you can't do Java on your machine without the development kit. You may have the Java runtime because it comes with a lot of programs, but it's not the same as the, um, the development kit, which allows you to write so I'm going to um, just do a quick search. Java Development Kit. You can see that I was there before. And um, SA Kit Development Downloads Oracle. So that's where we're going to go. And um, I'm going to real quickly paste that into the notepad here. And we'll put it right here. And you can kind of see the mainly you want to go to Java Oracle Con Technologies, JDK 8 downloads HTML. That being said, uh, the quickest way is just to search for Java Development Kit. All right, I am going to go to the downloads, and uh, we want to do the JDK download, and it talks about the developer license. Notice there's Linux, and there's Mac, and there's Windows, and I want a Windows uh, 64 installer. So I'm going to do that. I am going to claim I reviewed the license, and I'm going to download it. This is, again, a little bit different on the Mac, probably. Um, I might ask somebody maybe to talk about how it goes on the Mac. So I'm waiting for the file to download. It's fairly large, but it's not taking, we've got 25 seconds left. done there it is so I'm going to open the file I'm going to say yes if you do not say yes it will not install it should pop up an installer and I'm going to do next uh, gives you the path. I'm not going to change that path. I'm going to do next. It's going to install. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'm waiting for it to start. There it goes. All right. So it has, you can get some tutorials, development guides, and etc. But I'm just going to close that. And now I am going to uh, just do a quick search for. Eclipse IDE will go to Eclipse the desktop and notice um, I'll put this into the notepad just make it bigger but again you can just um, You can just uh, search for it, but eclipse.org, and I'm going to download it. 
and I'm going to download uh, okay so I'm going to download here download okay when it's done I am going to install it And again, you have to have the Java before you do Eclipse. Eclipse won't work without the Java. When it's done, I will um, do the same as before. I'll install it and then we'll do a quick hello world. In case you're wondering, I just recently wiped my machine so that everything was off of it and it was all new. Um, so I just reinstalled Windows. It's a big task if it, it took hours, but all right, so it's there. I'm going to open the file. Eclipse installer. One of the things you might notice, it doesn't ask you for permission. And that's partially because the Eclipse installer doesn't write to the registry in Windows. So it doesn't require... Um, so we want it for Java developers. Notice you can do PHP and uh, other developers, but let's, we're, we just want um, Java developers. And we want to install. Again, I would let the defaults be the case. Uh, you need to accept it. You can read it if you like. takes a minute hopefully it'll work one of the problems with wiping when memory is that I am wiping windows I might have wiped out a uh, component why is it taking longer I think it's my connection It's telling me what it's downloading bit by bit, but we'll hope that it finishes quickly here. I might pause it so you don't have to watch all of it. There it goes. That was a fair amount of progress. There it is. Launch. Ooh, it's prettier than it used to be. All right, this is where your files will go. It's going to create a folder under your username called Eclipse Workspace, and I'm going to let that be the correct place. first time to launch it always takes a little longer I 
there we go and um, so it gives you a bunch of things here uh, create a new Java application Java project import existing project tells you what's new overview uh, what I want to do is uh, basically get into let's do a create a hello world application all right and it gives you some things about how to do this uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do file new uh, I'm going to do a new class I think I'm going to call this um, source folder maybe I need to create a new project first file new project I'm going to call it um, we'll do Java I don't know that I need a wizard but we'll call it uh, just want its class actually create a project so this is what I want project name is test it's going to go in the default thing uh, we're going to create separate folders for sources and class files all of this is fine um, I'm going to do next just to look at that and that looks good let's do finish I'm going to create it okay so this is a module test but I'm going to add a new uh, class um, So the package will be um, com.spconger. Uh, so just giving it a name. Um, I'm going to give it a name of um, first Java. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I do want the public static void main because that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to finish. All right, and I'm going to just do system out print line. I'm sure there's a print line and then I'm going to uh, just say hello world I will save this and then I'm going to try to run it and notice down here it's hard to see but down here it says hello world so just as a reminder we got the Java SEA development kit and installed it we downloaded and installed Eclipse and we did a hello world All right, so that is the end of this video actually I might save that to post later uh, so I'm going to stop the recording